Hello. Cambria. Don't 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 I sm- don't don't I sound good? I sound good, don't I? Uh, whoa, what was that? Hello? Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't don't I sound good? Hello? Clarity is it, you have very good clarity. Oh Lord have mercy. Why is it taking so long for you to answer? That's just me. Oh Lord. Okay. All right, what we about to do, we about to go ahead and get the phone call out the way, and then we'll do all the talking about it uh, for the before and then for the after. You ready for the number? I can't dial it. You're going to have to dial it. Oh, Lord have mercy. Man. I'm driving. Are oh, you driving? Hold, hold on right quick. I got to do this a different way. Hold on. Hold on. Hey. Yeah? Yeah? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Hold on. All you have to do is stay a minute. Just take your time. The clock is ticking. So stay. All you have to do is stay. Uh, hi, I'm calling because I'm trying to get information about your company. Can oh. I get your friend to say hello? How you doing? Can oh. you hear me? Hey, can you hear me? You there? Yeah. I'm here. Can you hear me? I can't hardly hear you. Can you hear me now? You there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Hello? What's going on, guys? Lockout men here doing the edit in the background. How y'all doing today? All right. So let me uh, give you guys a little uh synopsis of what's going on with this call so we tried to get a hold of right transportation the first time or the first few times uh unfortunately cambria was having issues with uh with the phone she can hear him but i don't think he can hear her so while we was trying to figure it out figure out what's uh whose phone was it uh we couldn't get a hold of him or talk to him through uh, by way of Cambria. So what I did, I stepped up and picked up the football and ran it in for the touchdown for you guys. So I went on here. I got the uh, got the information for you, and and uh, hopefully uh, the information we got for you will work out. So shout out to the subscriber who uh, suggested right transportation my man andrew thank you very much thank you very much for the uh support i mean for the supported coffee as well so um i hope the information that we got for you works if you guys is interested in getting the calls made get your suggestions in now and if you want the shout out yo you know support the call with some coffee man i am always thirsty let's get back into this video i think we lost him yeah we we lost him hope hold on we're gonna try one more time look no i i, I know right I, I don't understand it it must be his line because i can hear him just good over here right okay well that's the time and you and you're on your headset I, I got you on Bluetooth and I got the other I got my computer wired. So I'm I'm, I'm sure you I'm I'm sure you can hear him, right? There there's no Correct. Yeah, it must be his jacked up phone. Shit. All right. I'm about to I'm about to call. 
It's a trap. Hey, can you hear me? Okay. Hey, can you hear me better? I can't hear you. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on with the, with the phone, or, or if it's my phone or yours. I, I haven't felt it yours because I've called you or I've talked to you on two different numbers. Um, but I, I really, I can't. I can barely hear. I can kind of hear a very, very muffled uh, voice, but I can't understand what you're saying. Hey, th- all right, yeah. So it's your phone. I mean, but I I can hear you very clearly. Um, I'm not, you know what, I'll, I'll try to, what, what if I, I'll see what's going on with my headset and I'll try to give you a call back. He, he just, he, he just hung up. Let me, let me try on a different phone. You know what, I'm. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> next part, next, next company, cause I ain't got time. I hear you, man. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's starting off. Starting off on the bad foot right now. What the hell? I don't have. I don't. I, I don't <coughs> have the time for it, really. Yeah, we starting off on a on on a bad foot, right? I mean, I I don't think it's your no. I, I don't think it's your phone. Because if it was my phone, you wouldn't be able to hear me. Exactly. I I wouldn't be. I, I'm hearing you loud, loud, super loud and clear. Like I'm here. I'm I'm hearing every. I'm hearing everything you're saying. I I don't understand how he. Could not, uh, could not hear you, especially. So therefore, everybody out there, don't go to right transportation, whatever it's called, because you, as you can see, it's a no go. It's starting <laughs> off bad already. That's a sign. Do not go. She said. Do not that. pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> you said that's a no go for uh, right transportation, right off. Yeah, we don't even. We don't even need to do the interview. Uh. It's a no go, everybody. Don't even do it. Don't worry about it. Wow, I, man, man. I mean, because what? if you can answer, if you can answer my question and it entirety, then that means you heard everything I said. Well, I mean, it it, it just sounds like that. It it just sounds like that. You know, he's. He said everything is muffled or something like that. So maybe uh, again, maybe it might have been. His connection. But if everything was, so if everything was muffled, then he turned around and said, "No, it's your phone. If it was my phone, you wouldn't be able to hear me." Too. I would exactly. I I, I hear but you. But how do you how do you repeat everything I just said to you in its entirety and then say the phone is muffled? No. <sighs> hmm. Uh, man. Uh. You know what? Let's make it make sense. Two plus two don't equal four in this situation. You say two plus two do not make four. Yeah, or you say two plus two make four or do not make four? I said two plus two don't equal four in this situation. You say don't equal four. Ah oh, man. Um. Next company. Ne- <laughs> well, you know what? Let 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 me give them a try. Let let me give them a try. Let me let me give right transportation a call. Let me let me give them a try. And maybe I'll just let him uh talk to me about what they got to offer. It's a sign that you keep trying to push it. It's a sign. I mean you're not reading the rules. <laughs> Apparently you don't want to read the rules, so go ahead, keep on keep trying. <laughs> Keep knocking on that cement wall and see if it opens for you. All right, let's 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 see if it opens up. All right, let's see if it opens up. Cause Paris, you can't take no for an You can't take a sign. You don't know what a sign is. Well, I mean, this is a this is a, a subscriber request, and okay, you know. subscriber request. Yeah, there you go. Um. It's a no go. For okay, so it, you you said this is a no go. We we gonna talk about it. We we gonna talk about it in a second. All right, we we gonna talk about it in a second. Let me let me see if it comes up on my other line. All right, all right, ready, set, go. This is trap. Hey, trap. How's it going, man? This trap. Get hello. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. How how's it going, sir? Hello. Yeah, it's good. Well, what's up? Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. How you doing, man? My name is uh, Sean, and I'm a six year I'm a six year driver. I came across uh, I came across you guys, you know, in a Facebook group, and one of the truck drivers was uh, was talking about the company. So I was, you know, yeah. I, I was just interested in what you guys have to offer. You you mind if I you, you you mind you mind if I ask uh ask a few questions that you know that I that I threw around in the in the Facebook group? That's fine, man. What's the group? All right, yeah, the Facebook group is called. Well, it actually is several groups. So one of them is CDL uh, CDL for truckers. Uh, another one is uh, Lockout Men. Uh, Lockout Men makes the call. Um, group and uh, and several you know several others so I'm I'm in a lot of I'm in a lot of Facebook groups so but um cool, man. where you live I I'm out of Ohio I'm I'm out of Ohio so are you so uh do you do you hire out of Ohio oh yeah, we do I mean we hire out of just about anywhere we get to Ohio a lot. Oh, okay, okay. That's that's awesome. That's awesome to hear. All right, so I'm on the website too. So I'm checking out, you know, what you guys, uh, what you guys saying on the website. By the way, nice, you know, nice website. By the way, um, how long have you guys been in existence? Because I haven't heard of, I haven't heard of you guys. How long have we been in business? Yes, sir. Since 1999. Oh, okay, okay. So re relatively new relatively new going a little bit over 20 all right all right uh what type of freight what what type of freight do you guys particularly haul oh uh, we haul i mean just like anything you might pay to put in a drive in what we're driving in carrier so okay okay um what what's needed what's what's needed to come into orientation so let's say if i give you you know i'd i'd fill out the application and everything and I of course I get approved and all like that. Uh how would I get up to how would I get up to Alabama? Would would you guys cover my way up there or or what? Yeah, well, we can get you down uh to to Mobile. Okay. What a, what a, what about the what about the stay? How how well let me rephrase that. How how long's the orientation? It's about a day and a half, two days. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, you guys offer uh, sign-on bonus or anything like that? Yeah, we have a two thousand dollars sign-on bonus. Okay, how is it paid out? Uh, you get a half on your third week of employment, and the other half after ninety days. Okay, okay, awesome. Uh, during during my orientation there, you know, uh, uh, the, the biggest question uh, that we always talk about is. Uh, like hair follow do you, as far as pre-employment uh testing what what do you guys do like hair follicles or urine or both oh we, we do urine because that's what's dot approved hair follicles not dot approved oh okay it's whoa it's not no it's not. Oh, okay it's a, it's a misconception but no it's not hair follicle it's not dot approved it's a company approved it's a policy thing Oh, okay. Thank you for clarifying that because a lot of uh, a lot that doesn't that doesn't mean that a company won't uh, you know that that doesn't mean that company won't do a hair follicle test. Right. Oh, okay. But the DOT does not accept the hair follicle test as a substitute for a urine drug test. Get out. But say say if you go and do a hair follicle test and you fail it, that's not the, the results can't be passed on to subsequent or, or different employers or anything of the sort. Okay, okay. That's wow. That's that's some new news to me because you know, I mean, the the companies that, you know, that I have driven for, you know, previously, uh they they all did urine, but you know, I came across some guys that did the hair follicles, and you know the funny thing about that is like my one guy, right? Uh Bit John, you know, he been in the, you know, he been in the industry for about 10 years and all like that. And you know, he just recently went to a company. They did the hair follicle test, and come to find out, he flunked. Like, you know, they use you know they use the same scissors or whatever how they you know cut 
you know, get the, you know, get the hair or whatever, you know, they use the same scissors. So is it possible that they could have used the, you know, same scissors for somebody that that was positive and then used it on him and that that could have like rolled wow. off? I mean, in my eyes, uh, everything's possible, man. But I, I don't, I can't really speak too much on it. We don't do it, so I don't know. But I do know that anytime you do hair follicle, it's going to be followed up by a urine if you were to pass the hair follicle. A urine test has to be done to be able to hire somebody. I got you. I got you. All right. That's so- the only thing that's to approved. Now, but to answer your question, I, I would imagine, I guess, I, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. Typically, I'll, I'll be honest with you, man. You'll come across a lot of people, and I do. I mean, we have, you know, two hundred and some odd employees. So, I mean, you know, somebody may tell you, "Hey, I've never, I've never smoked weed. I've never done any of that in my whole life." Blah mm-hmm. blah blah. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, if they fail the test, they're probably lying to you. Mm. But uh, that being said, you know, it happens, and you could be around it. You could be, you know, and it stays in your system for a while. So. I got you. Um, your hair, not your system, your hair. So I'm a six year driver, uh, going on seven. What will be what will be my starting pay coming in to you guys? Forty nine cents if you have a hazmat endorsement. What what is it if I don't and do I need it? Forty five. You don't need it. It's just four cents difference. Um which is, you know, it, it depends on what you're you know, being in Ohio there may be a lot of uh, carriers around your area. I don't I don't know, but just being from that area, you may have a lot of different competition that your current employer may be dealing with, so the pay may be a little bit higher as far as but what that is is just getting in line with competition. Uh, if you have a lot of flatbed carriers or something like that, they typically pay more per mile, which is something that a lot of drivers tend to focus on rather than weekly pay. They focus on uh, per mile pay for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. So we deal with that a lot, whereas, you know, we pay $0.49 cents for having that driver. You're still going to net. I mean, you're going to get – I mean, you're gonna bring home a thousand bucks a week, easy. So, okay. I mean, it just depends on what you're. If you're looking at per mile, that's great. But you know, weekly pays what pays your bills. So, All right. that's what we try to maximize your day and keep so, you going. So, do you guys got good freight that's 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 coming that that will keep me moving? Yeah, man. Yeah, when you're out on the road, you're gonna be moving. I mean, we're gonna try to maximize your day every day. Okay, that's what's up. Every day you're ready, you're willing to work. We're gonna try to get you at least five hundred, five hundred fifty miles at least. Oh, that's um, what's up. I mean, unless you – that's the key, man. We don't want you hanging out in truck stops. Okay, okay, awesome. I, and trust but, I mean, at the end of the day, your thing is, is about being away from home, right? So, I mean, the thing about it is, is whether you're driving or hanging out in truck stop, it's, it's about the same because you're still away from home and your goal is to get back there. So, we maximize your day and keep you, keep you moving. Okay, okay. Just try to give you a, uh, average miles of this, you know, dispatch. It's going to be around 550. All right. So would I? So would I be considered? Uh, would I be considered a ten ninety nine driver or or a W two driver? No, or do, no, no. You're W two. Do you? Yeah, we have all. We have full benefits. We have. I mean, we have the whole shebang. Okay. Do you guys offer lease? If I'm if I'm interested in that. We don't. No, we're company company drivers. Straight company drivers. All right. So I yeah. see. I, I see, uh, you know, I see the, the the payment. What what other, what other, uh, what other funds or fees that I would get? Do I get breakdown pay, holiday pay? Um, how no? I mean, you, you're not gonna. I mean, if you break down, we're gonna get, try to get you a rental. Uh, if we can't find you a rental, then yeah, we would pay you daily that you're out. Um, as far as breakdown, that's that's how we do it. And now, mm-hmm. as far as um, holiday, I mean, we allow you to be off any holiday you want to be off. So, but we won't um, get we won't get paid for it though. To be off, no. Oh, okay. I got you. Well, at least I'm off. That's that's a good thing. Thank you. I, I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, uh-huh. so oh, you're gonna be off if you want to be off on a holiday, man. We, we got we're not the type of company that's gonna be you get Thanksgiving or Christmas. You, you know, we, you get both. You know, you some you may be a father, so you want Father's Day. You may be close to your mother, so you want Mother's Day. You know that sort of thing. So. Okay. You want off, man? You'll be off. What, what part of Ohio do you live? I stay up in Cleveland. Okay. Will I be um uh, right. since I stay since I stay up in Cleveland? Of course, I'll be able to bring the truck home, right? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Now let me ask you something about that because now it's it seems as though uh, FMCSA, you know, kind of flip flop on their 
PC, their personal conveyance. So let's say I have, uh, let's say I make it home. Let's say I have a secure lot for the, for the trailer, you know, but I would like to bobtail home. Would I be able to use, would I be able to use PC to get me there? Or are you one of those companies that I got to actually keep the truck and trailer together? Oh, we would definitely like for you to keep the truck and trailer together, but you can still PC. You just couldn't PC. It, it would really just depend on where you're at. You just can't advance at this much. You can't advance where you're going in your right. location by using PC. Right, right. By saying, okay, you're getting to your 11 hour mark and you know you're not going to make it home. So I'm going to PC for the last 30 minutes. That's, that's the misuse. And that's, oh. we don't allow that. Man. Okay. So, so wait a minute. Wait a, now hold up. Hold up. So if, if I'm done, well, I know about I know about the load and everything, you know, I know about that. But let's say I'm empty, and like like you just said, you gave the scenario of being 30 minutes away from the house. I literally can't use the PC to get me there. Not necessarily. I mean, it's all circumstantial. Say if you got empty, and you know, wherever is close to Cleveland, that's 20, 30 miles away. Right. And you went to the PC to your house and you're not loaded and you're not going towards where you're going to be reloading, then yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. You just go home anyway. That's the PC and that's fine. You just can advance and, and knowingly advance something and try to use PC to hide something because we'll see it gotcha. and we'll give you a violation. Gotcha. So, okay. Tenfold. It's mainly about what you're getting paid to do. That's kind of how we look at it. If we're, if we're paying you to do it, it's not personal. Oh, so okay. It's not personal for paying. All right, tenfold, tenfold. Uh, what about fuel locations? Uh, because you know some companies love. are. Oh, love! Oh man, we back at Love's. Thank you. I can get my showers. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, you, you, are, sure. you already mentioned. You already mentioned that you guys are gonna work on getting me about you know about five hundred miles uh, a day, so I can average about three thousand miles a week or more with you guys. Yeah, if you want it, man. A lot of people want to do that, and they get over and they, they don't necessarily do it because they don't. I mean, if you make yourself readily available to get 3,000 miles, you'll get it. Every driver we have that wants to get it and makes himself available gets it. All right. So are you guys a regional company? Like hometown you want. Oh, okay. Are you guys? No, a- man, we, we run off for you. Okay, but is it possible for me to get home every week, or would you want me to stay out for a while? Uh, more than likely, man, being from that area. I mean, we got a lot of freight that goes through uh, Ohio and into Ohio, so – I mean, it would just be trying to make it work for you, but I would imagine that you would be getting home, at, you know, at least once a week. Okay. Um, and, and we try to make that on the weekends if at all possible. Okay. Okay. Awesome. What equipment that you guys have? I'm I'm seeing the pictures on the website. It look like y'all got uh, T sixties and and Cascadias. Y'all y'all have any more than that or no? That's it. Okay. Okay. What's the amenities inside of the trucks? What What, what you guys going to give me? Oh, uh, we have in the newer trucks in the six eighties. We have uh, APUs. And we have uh, inverters and we have refrigerators. Okay. Uh, we have refrigerators on our truck. So basically, the the the, the bare not the bare essentials, but at least I have a refrigerator. I have to provide a TV and everything else I need, right? Yeah, my son. Well, yeah, you know what? Me. You know what? You don't even have to People worry. You, you don't even have to worry about a TV because I got a 10 inch uh, tablet. If I can't if if I can't see no movies on that, then I'm I, I shouldn't be driving, right? <laughs> I'm just I'm saying. You, I'm just saying. Uh, do you guys do uh, do do force dispatch, if any, or you know if I don't uh, want to go up into New York? What you, what you consider, well, we're not gonna see New York City anyway, but um. It just depends on what you would call for dispatch, I guess. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, if it's one that, that you know, you say you're it's a Friday, mm-hmm. and you need, and you're in Ohio and you're wanting to go home, we tell you no, we have your load coming down here. You're not going home, then that we, we don't do that. So oh. we force that on you. But if it's one where we say, hey, we got your load going to St. Louis, and you're like, man, I don't like St. Louis, I ain't going. Then that, yeah, that way we yeah. can't have that. I got you. I got you. All right. So, in the midst of me, we're gonna find out what you like doing and where you like going, and we'll we'll do everything we can to try to okay make it work. All right. So, in the midst of me, uh, in the midst of me filling everything out and getting approved, what can get me disqualified from from coming on with you guys? I was being unsafe, having a bad MVR, um, 
not having enough experience, which is clearly not it. If you have six years, then uh, you're good there. Um, and then any kind of a former employer, saying you've ever failed a drug test or refused a drug test or anything like that. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, man. Well, hey, you know, that's that's all I have. Uh, you, you did mention that you guys have company benefits. Uh, do you guys do you guys flip the bill for the benefits or do we it, it'll come out of our pocket? Well, it's both. Um, we, we, we do, we, we don't, feel, we don't take the whole bill. I mean, we, we, we pay a, a fairly large portion of it, but not the whole thing. Okay. Four one, four one K match, pro, uh, possible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. We match a dollar to dollar up to 6%. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right, man. Well, you know, what's, uh, what's, I guess my last cut question would probably be, what's the turnover there? I mean, I know you guys offer a sign on bonus. And I always tell the guys in the in the Facebook group, I always say, you know, any company that offers a sign on bonus, they they turnover rate must be at the stratosphere. But prove me wrong. Yeah. Where, where's where where's yeah, y'all turnover rate? But yeah, we we I mean we're an anomaly to to that principle because you know, our, our turnovers are right at thirty eight percent. Oh, okay. That's that's. that's hey, we, we struggle with just getting people in the door. We don't necessarily struggle too too much. I mean, we just try to spend a lot of money on keeping you know drivers and employees here rather than. Us spending a lot on advertising and that sort of thing. So, okay, um, our turnover is fairly low as, as a relative term to the industry average. But, um, yeah, I mean, we just struggle the most with getting people in the door. People don't like change. They don't like moving companies. They don't like this and that. So, mm-hmm. uh, and, and there's a ton of places you can go, right? I mean, it's just you make right. any phone call if you're safe. And I do drugs. And pass a drug test. And shit. I agree. Um, Y'all, y'all good with the ladies coming in there to apply to you guys? I know well, that's certainly. like a, I know that's a crazy, have, you know? I know that's a crazy question, but you know some of the females kind of, you know, they kind of get jaded as far as trying to find a good trucking really? job. Yeah, I mean, well, the, you know, I only talk, I only talk to a handful. I, I'm not going to say all of them. I only talk to a few of them that says, you know, that they, they you know, they get intimidated. Or they get afraid when they, you know, call the, you know, to come on with a with a company because they feel that, you know, being that she's a lady and everything, you know. But I told yeah, no, you know, man, we don't do that. Like I said, some of the best drivers we have are female. Uh, oh, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, man. Well, hey, I appreciate your time, man. Thank you very much. Um, you know, I did take some voice what, notes. What page you say it was, man? Uh. Lock out me and Mace the call from on Facebook. That's uh that's one of them. Um, another one uh another one is uh CD CDL Life and then you know a couple other groups uh black uh black CDL holders, um, uh, okay. all you know all CDL. So, so do you just I guess you just do like a uh. Do you like a video, or do you just like tell tell about certain companies, or how does it work? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I do is, uh, you know, I, you know, I, I talk to the drivers and everything, and you know, I, I get, you know, get, kind of get a feel of what they, you know, what they looking for, especially for new drivers, you know, that's coming into the, that's yeah. coming into the field. You know, I, I just get a sense of what they looking for and being that you know we all you know we it, it's a place for new drivers to be comfortable at and you know they come they come in they ask questions and all like that and then you know some of them feel like yo i really want to make the you know i really want to call and talk to them but i i don't know what to ask i don't you know i, I don't want to be talked yeah, okay. into you know i don't want to be talked into into something that i might not like because you know a lot of carriers like the like the sugar coat everything and oh man no doubt well the thing about it is so here i'm also our safety director and personnel director man so i can recruit i can do whatever but at the end of the day i'll meet you you'll go through orientation here and you'll go through orientation with me so anything i tell you that that you know you can take it to the bank because i mean i'm not gonna lie to you and then bring you here and, and you know i'll see you you know what i mean i'm not a recruiter where i'm never gonna meet you i'm never gonna see you i don't get paid if any different if you come on board or not okay uh, so, I mean, at the end of the day, I don't get a referral based on that. I don't. That ain't how it works here, man. Okay, that's what's up. So, you know, that's you know, that's what I. I also, you know, for my own self, 
uh, perseverance. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, take, you know, I'd use the information as well because like if I decide to leave my current company or something like that, I can go back to who, whoever I talk to and then make the, you know, make the decision because I already, I already talked to you guys. You see what I'm saying? So I would get, yeah. I would get yeah, a feel sure. like, yo, I, you know, I just talked to that guy at right transportation and it felt, it felt pretty good. Let me give you guys a try. So, you know, I would call you back and say, Hey, yeah. you know, I'm such and such. And you know, I, we talked before and you know, you could probably pull me up by the phone number and be like, Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. And then boom. Yeah. So, yeah, sure. but you know, for other, you know, for other drivers that's coming in, you know, they, 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 they use the information that they find on Facebook, YouTube, uh, you know, when they find on Facebook and used to, they use that information and they'd be like, Oh, okay. Well, such and such talk yeah, to them already. And I like, I, I like what they had to say. So let me call and see what they, you know, see what they have to offer. So, but I do appreciate the time, yeah, man. Cool, man. Thank I appreciate you. you doing that, dude. Because there's a lot of people out there that don't don't do that, and that's, that's awesome. You take your time to do that. I hey, thank you. I you know, like I said, I care about the, you know, I, I care about the community as a whole. I care about the industry, and you know, and I I care about the new drivers that's coming in. I just don't, I don't, I don't want them to pretty much make the same mistake that I made when I came in six years ago. Like, if I knew. If I knew of somebody of my stature that was doing that, then I guess the first company that I chose wouldn't have been chose. So. No, yeah, that, and that's what I'm saying. That's awesome. I mean, you waste. Uh, I mean, you're saving a lot of people from from wasted time and, and and heartache and you know everything else. I mean, you can you can name it. So I mean, it's pretty cool what you're doing there for sure. I appreciate it, man. Um, I definitely, like I said, I'll definitely put all the information. Uh, I put all the information that we talked and all the information and how they can get in contact with you and everything. And hopefully you'll get some, uh, get some good candidates out of this. Man, that'd be awesome. Appreciate it, man. All right. Now you take it easy. Yeah, my name's Trent. All right, Trent. Thank you very much for your time, bro. See you, man. Wow. Man. (laughs) <laughs> Cambria, man, are you? What? Man, would woo? Does does your stance change now? Does does your? No. St- oh. <laughs> First impression is everything. <laughs> <clears throat> Man. Cambria. And I feel like when he said um, that he's also personnel and safety and all of that, and you will meet him and, and this that and the third, this that and the third, this that and the third. Um, I met I met my safety director. I met my safety director at a company I was with before as well. I met the receptionist who lied and and said she was gonna do all this for me. And she anything I needed, don't ever hesitate to ask her. I mean, the the very first time I'm hungry, do you know what she told me? What she what she uh, tell so you? So am I. What what she tell you? So am I. Mm. Well, you being hungry is not my problem. Well, but you told me on the phone that anything I ever needed, don't hesitate to say something or ask. Well, right, it makes sense. Right Transportation, located out of Mobile, Alabama. So if you guys is located down in Mobile, Alabama, Mobile, Alabama. You guys can give them a, you know, give them a look out, give them a shout out. Their phone number is 251-432-3690. They do have additional terminals. They got one in Mobile, Alabama. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this one that starts with a P, so I'm just going to say Mississippi. And Pensacola. Uh, Pasachula. Oh, Pasachula. Pasachula, Mississippi. 
Yes, sir. And the other one is Pensacola, Florida. Yes, sir. You can uh, go to righttransportation.com and click on uh, click on the apply today button and you can apply there today. You'll be able to you'll be able to talk to Trent. Uh, hopefully the phone will be better. <laughs> Don't just say it. Uh, what they got to offer, uh, of course, they got the the benefits paid. They, if you have your hazmat, it is forty eight cents a mile. No, forty nine cents with hazmat. Oh, forty All right, all right. Uh, four hundred one k will company match annual vacations, of course. Uh, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, which is half. You know, you pay half, and the company pay half. And they got optional life, short-term disability, and critical illness insurance. I could have used that. Anyway, uh, on-the-job perks, of course, 100%, not 99, 100%, no touch freight. Uh, if you have, if you have a furry, uh, fur buddy, you can bring them. If you have a buddy, you can bring them. 80% dropping hooks, you know. And majority of them probably might be live lows and live unloads. They got cutting edge equipment, which is T six eighties and Cascadias with Bluetooth capability. How about Wi Fi? How about can I jump on the Wi Fi? Thank you. Um, no New York City trips, but I'm gonna assume they do have Northeast, and of course, you guys know how I feel about that. Uh, a sign truck, so you won't be able to you you won't be flip flopping in the other trucks and all like that. Balance work and home life. So I'm out of Ohio, as he said. I can pretty much get home on the weekly. Um, Cambria, you're from Georgia. You 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 think you'll be able to get home on the weekly with them? Uh, I might. Okay, okay. Uh. Solid weekly map. I, mean, I see them in Georgia a lot. Oh, okay. You you do? Oh, so you came across their, their trucks, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I, mean, I see them in Georgia a lot. Okay, okay. Uh they got solid work week about twenty eight to three thousand on average. Uh he did say that we can you know, he'll keep us moving. We won't be sitting in the truck stops for any amount of time. Uh, trucks are less than three years old. You also get paid bonuses for safety, number of miles driven, and a loyalty driver program. You'll get uh, three two thousand dollars that's paid out in how 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 long did he say? You get half in three weeks, and the other half after ninety days. All right. They also have they they also have a. Uh, they also have a four thousand dollars referral bonus. Now, here's the thing: he said two thousand, right? But on the website, oh, he said two thousand sign-on bonus. Sign-on bonus, but on the website, it says for qualified applicants, you can receive an extra four thousand dollar payout over your first ninety days of employment. Wow. Yeah, if, if somebody referred you. Wow. Okay, okay. So again, right transportation uh website, right transportation dot com. Uh let me see who suggested right transportation. Give me a second to pull that up so I can shout them out uh for suggesting right transportation. Uh, so Cambria, while I'm looking that up from the conversation that, you know, that me and him had, uh, he did mention about that. Some of the lady drivers there are some of his best drivers, uh, just for the conversation alone, would you consider, uh, would you consider trying to, uh, trying to get on with that company? Okay. All right. So shout out to Andre 
Andrew, I'm sorry, Andrew Hurricane for the suggestion to call Wright Transportation Inc. of Mobile, Alabama. He said that they do strictly drive-in, no New York City. They offer a $4,000 sign-on bonus within the first 90 days. He feels that no, they... No, 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 no. That's it's what he said. Sign- it's 2000 no, right. said a 2000 Right. He's- yeah, but I'm, I'm going four thousand dollar referral. Yeah, that, that's what I'm going by. What Andre, I mean Andrew says. I'm, I'm going by what he says now. That's all. He says they seem tight, and I would love for you to give them a call, which we did. And uh, I, uh, Andrew, we gave them a call. I hope you enjoy this uh, this episode. Uh, thanks for the uh, thanks for the cash app for the uh, thanks for the cash app. So of course you get your you get your shout out. And you get your call, which will be posted. Uh, it'll be well. We making it now, but it'll be posted next week. I'm I'm just saying. But uh, Cambria, special shout out to my co-host Cambria. Thank you very much for always coming on and chopping it up with me. I really do appreciate anybody it. who wants to, um, you know, donate to me as well. A cup of coffee or something. Well. Not a cup of coffee because y'all know I hit up my skinny brew every single day. Skinny. But I mean, you know, just to show the love, my cash app is T Tammy. That's dollar sign, the letter T K A M M Y nine zero. Go ahead and show you guys some love, you know. I'm just right. saying. All right, I, I appreciate it. You know, show show my co-host a little bit of oh damn, what happened? Show my show my co-host a little bit of love, and uh, send some coffee her way too because you know she coming on here, chopping it up with me, and we bring it, we we bring in good content, good information, you know, from a from a male and female point of view. So the lockout men makes the call featuring Cambria. Yo, I, you know, I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below uh, who you guys want us to call next. Uh, get your suggestions in now. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, look it over. We'll choose which ones that's viable. Um, and uh, we'll we'll get it out there. Now, I know I put it in the community post that I that you guys is heavy on which who you guys want me to call next. But I sent um I sent the company to Cambria to look at, and I think it was Smith. What was it? Swift? Smith? Smith Transportation or something like that that I sent you to, to look at? Um, I'll have to look at it. I've been busy. Yeah. I've been busy. I've been busy. Anyway, that's going to do it for the uh, MTC edition on the Lockout Men podcast show. Thank you very much for joining us. I really do appreciate it. Me and Cambria, yo, we'll get back at you with another one. Peace. Searching, 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 and searching.